Last week I was reading the paper, Sunday's paper, they have the congratulations page. And I, I, it's right on the last page of the paper. <laughs> the Roe couple, 65th anniversary. There was the Forrest's 60th wedding anniversary. Hemmings, 64th. McKnight, 60th. Robbins, 50th. But the one that struck me the most was Pearl and Bob Williams. Born, or married, sorry, September 8th, 1956. 60th wedding anniversary. It's dark in here. Hang on a second. I've got to read this because this is just classic. <laughs> so what's the secret to a long and happy marriage? As Dad says, if we're going to fight, we strip to the waist first. <laughs> I kid you not, last Sunday's paper. I thought that was last Sunday's paper. Seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I feel like I'm walking on water since the day that I asked your father to let go of his daughter. So give me your blessing, sir. I'll give her all that I've got. Doesn't look like much, but it sure feels like a lot. Let her take my heart and take my hand. Take my heart and take my hand. Take my heart and take my hand again. You're amazing. I know my daughter Kaseya looks up to you and admires you so much. She looks to you as a role model and while we may need to change your name from Auntie Fats, I know she will always look forward to your adventures together just like the first time she met Dan. Kristen came to drop off Kaseya to me and as Kristen spoke more and more about Dan, she would light up with excitement with every word. When my daughter talked about Dan, she told me about how he too liked minions. <laughs> she also would have light up with excitement. My two important girls love this man after such a short time. Dan, the more I get to know you, I can see what they saw that day. I am so happy Kristen and you have found each other. You bring out so much emotion and happiness from her, and I don't know anyone else that can make her yell and laugh in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Here's to many more years of love and laughter with you both, and hopefully some little minions in the future. Marriage is like building a house. It requires a solid foundation. If you build a house on sand, it will not stand the test of time. You need to build your home on a rock. The foundation of a solid marriage is communication, love, forgiveness. It means keep not keeping score on what you've done. Rather, it means doing as much as possible for your partner. And the more you can put into the relationship, the more rewards and the more you'll enjoy. Mom and I, as with everyone in this room, are here to support and love you both. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. 
Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two individual people, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in your journey ahead, and through all the years may happiness be your constant companion, and your days together be good and long upon this beautiful earth. And so we gathered here today to celebrate the love and marriage of Kristen and Dan. As we celebrate the love that Kristen and Dan share, we are also supporting their decision to accept each other totally and permanently in this bond of marriage. I, Daniel Patrick Lindsay Alger, take Kristen Nicole Baxter to be my lawful wedded wife. Dan, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. Wear it with pride and joy as a constant reminder of this bond we have created. Dan, do you take Kristen to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage, and to love and honor her for the rest of your life? I do. By the power vested in me by the province of British Columbia, it gives me great pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> um, one thing I would mention is uh, I guess it's a little bit of a story about how a person's strength can become their weakness. Um, I remember when Dan was about four years old, I guess it was. Um, we knew he was going to be with us for much longer, so I asked him if he wanted to go swimming. He was all over that. I asked him several times, so you know how to swim? Yeah, I know how to swim. It's no problem. So I took him to the Kitsilano uh, swimming pool over in Vancouver. And I'm in the water, and I'm wondering, you know, what's the problem? And it must have been about five feet. And I told him, jump in. And he jumps in, and he's flailing. And <laughs> he almost drowned. I was upset because he almost drowned. Um, so Dan's always been a really confident person. Um, <laughs> but that confidence, you know, it can be your weakness. Uh, and I, I don't want to give advice, just an observation that, um, you know, any honest married person, married man will tell you that, you know, when your wife's upset, you think you know what the problem is, but you don't. You know? <laughs> so don't let your strength, you know, be your weakness. So you guys are coming into marriage from different perspectives. Kristen, you've seen your parents work hard for 20 years, beautiful marriage. Dan, you don't have that same example. You have your athletic background, though, which tells you that if you want to win, you have to work hard. So we just encourage you to uh, work hard at your marriage. It doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of effort. We're very happy for the both of you, and that's on behalf of our whole family.